My name is Tanisha Grant. I am a proud mother of three, and I am an education activist in Harlem, New York. I had a very rough childhood. I was separated from my family at birth. I was a young girl who was told that didn't belong anywhere, and um, I was in handcuffs by 11. I was a straight school to prison pipeline child. I spent my um, teenage years in group homes. I was harmed in all kinds of ways in those group homes, and I didn't um, know what it was to be loved until I had my first daughter at 18. So it's very important to me to help others and to let everybody know that even though sometimes we don't have a good beginning, it's what we make it, and that we can love and that we can support each other. If you empower children and you nurture children and you tell them that they are somebody, it makes a difference. So I want to make sure that my children had it and that other children have it. In 2020, during the height of the pandemic, I started Parent Support in Parents New York. We are a nonprofit grassroots organization. Our mission is to make sure that parents thrive and not just survive. It starts with the basic needs, housing, food, groceries, and utilities bills paid. Whatever our funds allow us to do to help parents and families and children in our community. Technology is so important. So when remote learning started, it was a struggle. The Department of Education said that they would make sure that all of our children had the technology that they needed to remote learn. That didn't happen. iPads with no um, keyboard um, or Chromebooks that don't work. A lot of times, um, Wi-Fi in my community is a luxury. And right then, that minute, we decided that we was gonna start a GoFundMe to raise money to buy children laptops. And it just grew from there. Since we started, we have been able to do a laptop giveaway every month since. We are up to 568 children. Seeing the ways that this is helping families and children, it gives me purpose. It lets me know that I'm here for a reason, and this is what it's for, to you know, do as much as I can while I can. And I believe that we all have a part to play in making the world that we want to see for our children, and so I'm just doing my part. You try and reach out to your community in multiple ways, right? On multiple levels. Right. We also do um, sensory boxes. Um, I don't think that, I think that, you know, our children, you know, that learn differently, because I don't really like to say special needs. I have a five-year-old autistic, nonverbal um, grandson who was a beautiful baby. Um, but, you know, we just got him a power this year and he's been in school, you know, two years. Um, our children, you know, who learn differently have all of these type of technology that will help them um, sit and not fidget and concentrate. And it's called like sensory boxes. So um, some schools, you know, have sensory toys that children are, you know, um, access that, ha that are accessible to our children, but they don't have them at home. So what we do is, is we identify children. Um, my uh, OC mom, Gina, shout out to Gina. She calls them. They have a Zoom meeting. The Gina and the parent go shopping together. Then we build out the sensory box and we deliver it to their house. This is the type oh, of work great. that we want to do. Feeding the community. So is that is um, that the future plan, just to keep expanding? All yes. of the tools we wanna, that families need. Yes, we want to keep expanding and we want to keep bringing awareness to like um, children that we don't highlight. Like, um, there's a lot of us out here that were underserved as children, and it has affected us in various vast ways during our lives. And if I can help children, you know, families giving these children computers, that's one less thing for their parents to worry about. Our friends at Gateway, this is cool. They're donating $10,000 to your organization and $3,000 of laptops. And $3,000 more of laptops. That's pretty cool. Thank you! Oh my God, are you serious? Oh, that is amazing because, you know, we can stretch $10,000 and more, you know, resources to technology for our community. Thank you so much so much, Gateway. Thank you so much, Rachel Ray.